What's going on guys, welcome back to another awesome episode where today we're going to be checking out the 2023 Matchbox City Drivers 2 5 pack and this is the 70th anniversary pack for the City Drivers. As you can see they all have the same livery and if you look very closely they all have the little 70th anniversary logo. There we go, 70 years special edition. Very, very cool. There's the side artwork just there. We'll flip this over for the large picture. How cool does that look? I always love these large pictures on the back there. Very, very nice. Uh, there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. You can pause and read that if you wish. Uh, there is a barcode just in case anybody wanted to see that. And uh, this pack includes the Matchbox Mission Helicopter, the 1994 Chevy Caprice Classic, the 1989 Chevy Blazer 4x4, the GMC Wrecker, and the Pierce Arrow XT fire engine. Wow, really, really awesome. All right, I've already sliced the top so we can get in nice and quick. And here we go, we'll have another quick look at them. Look at that, love the look of that. That's absolutely awesome. Yes, what a really, really great lineup of vehicles that we have. And we'll start off with the Mission Helicopter. Oh, very cool. Uh, first thing we need to do though, is we need to do this. Yes, we need to extend the end. All right, how awesome is that? I do quite like how it's got the extendable rear rotor blade area there. Oh, very nice metallic silver paint has the white extra pieces there. And we can see on the side, we have the Metro Rescue livery. Uh, some yellow, red and black striping there also. Along the top here, you can see there is the 70 years anniversary emblem just there. Some more of those stripes there looking absolutely awesome. Blue window and uh, not really very much as far as an interior goes. Uh, yeah, kind of an empty interior there. Now the helicopter itself has quite a lot of extra details on it though. Uh, lots of radars and sensors and such like that. It's got the white skis. Uh, it's got this other section here for the hook to uh, lower the hook down and rescue people at sea and such. Uh, more little uh, sections just there. It's got the black propeller on the top there. Super awesome. Uh, has the same livery and detailing on the opposite side there. Very, very cool. A little bit of a gray uh, turbine, I believe that is on the rear there. Yeah, how awesome is that? Nicely detailed on the back as well. All the pieces there look absolutely awesome. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. There we go. Hopefully you can read all of the information on there. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> I do love that. The uh, extendable boom on the rear there. That's awesome. And I'll pop that one over there and we'll grab out the Chevy Caprice. Yes, this is the 1994 Chevy Caprice Classic. How cool. And this one here is the police livery. Metro Police. Uh, once again, we have those yellow, red and black stripes, but this one here zigzags its way across the car. Very, very cool. Has the uh, orange uh, chrome trim detail on those wheels. Uh, these all have the same nice silver uh, metallic paint. If you look inside that blue window there, you can see there is the police computer. Very cool. You can see there is a radio on the seat and everything like that. I believe that's a radio. I believe there's also a version of a police car which has donuts on the seat too. Uh, this has the blue light bar on the top there. Unit 17 also has the logo on the rear there. Uh, no painted headlight details, but we do get the chrome bumpers. That is a nice looking touch there. On the opposite side there, we have all of the same details once again. Looks very, very cool. And around the back there, we don't get any painted light details on the rear either, but the uh, chrome bumpers actually look really cool on this. I uh, will have to admit. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Chevy Caprice Classic. And there is the base for all of you base fans. Oh, that's very, very nice. All right. Next up, we have the 1989 Chevy Blazer 4x4. And this one here is in the Metro EMS livery. The Emergency Medical Services, I believe that that's what EMS stands for. Uh, this has got Metro on the front there. 
It's got the full zigzag uh, striping on this one also, uh, with the yellow, red, and black once again. 70 years logo on the back there. It's got the full off-road wheels, which actually have Matchbox. Uh, I believe these ones have Matchbox. Yeah, they have Matchbox written on the wheel there as well. A little bit of a chrome trim there too. Light bar on the top in blue. White interior once again. Very, very nice. And you can see in the back there also. And this one also has the junk in the trunk. How awesome is that? Very, very cool. I like the uh, big light bar. Spotlights on the top there. No headlight details on the front, but you can see it has a full detailed black grille and bumper. Opposite side has the same livery. No little shot of the interior just there. And around the back there, we don't get any light details, but we do get a tow hook. So very, very nice. And uh, yeah, all that stuff in the back there is very, very cool. Awesome. Yeah, that is a very, very cool Chevy Blazer 4x4. And there is the base for all of you base fans. Awesome. Wow, that's really cool too. It's rather large compared to the uh, Chevy there, I will have to admit. All right, next up we have the GM GMC Wrecker Truck. And this one here is in the police, uh, Metro Police livery, emergency roadside removal, I assume. There we go, highway uh, rescue service there, unit eight with the 70 year logo. This one has a yellow light bar on the top there, yellow window, and a very frosty uh, windscreen. It's kind of hard to see inside there, uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, around the, oh, so I should point out the wheels also has the knockoff style wheels with the chrome trim. Look absolutely awesome. Around the front there, no headlight details, but we do get the big GMC, and we get this huge wrecker push bar in the front there to push uh, cars and vehicles off the highway. Super awesome. Uh, same livery on the opposite side just there. And in the back there we get the checker plate effect on the rear, that looks awesome. And then we have the actual uh, tow mechanism there. A little bit of a bend in there, so you can actually uh, pick your car up and hook it onto there and tow your vehicles away. And uh, around the back, no light painted details, but still, how awesome is this? Very, very cool. Uh, on the top there, we also have those extra little lights uh, embossed into the top there as well, uh, cast into the vehicle. And here is the base for all of you base fans. Hopefully you can read all of that information. That is super cool as well, I have to admit. Yeah, really, really nice. And the last car we have is the Pierce Arrow XT Fire Engine. Once again, much like all of the other cars, gets this really, really nice metallic silver color. Has the yellow, red, and black striping details all the way through. And uh, this one here is the Metro Fire Department. Really, really nice. This one gets the orange chrome trim on the truck style wheels. And on the front there, you can see we have the Metro Fire logo and uh, a county, I can't quite pronounce that, Yacenti uh, County? I <laughs> can't quite read that. Uh, has a white cabin on top, the blue light bar, the blue window pieces, little shot of the interior just there. Look at all the details down the side here. Quite a lot of actual detailing on this casting, I will have to admit. Really, really awesome. Got the the uh, smoke stacks popping out there also. Around the front there, no headlight details, but we get the very cool looking front end. I will have to admit, that's really, really nice. Uh, a great bumper and grill. Really, really cool. And you can see there in the front there, a little bit of a shot of the interior. Around the opposite side there, we have the same livery and uh, details there, looks awesome. Have the ladders on the top there, have all this other extra equipment there cast in, more of that checker plate effect on this one also. And around the back there, no light details, uh, but you can see all of the details as well. You get the roller door on the back there. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. You can even see where the soft top is a little bit misaligned, uh, where it's just been tucked in there. That's really, really nice attention to detail on that. Wow, super, super cool. And uh, there is the base for all of you base fans. Hopefully you can read all of that. And there we go, guys. And that brings us to the end of the 2023 Matchbox City Drivers 2 70 year anniversary five pack. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all then.